My name is Anne Matsushima. I'm the co-editor of Eyeball Burp and the publisher of Eyeball Burp Publications. A zine is a type of magazine, um, except uh, what differentiates zine making from magazines is that zine makers are actually doing it themselves. The whole process, from coming up with idea to distributing it, it's all, it's all you. The people that are controlling the media a lot of times are a certain class or a certain group of people. I view zines as kind of um, an open platform for myself to tell my own story and to express myself. And I, what I want to encourage is a younger generation of, of people that that are just creating um, zines and anything for themselves. Everyone can make a zine. Every single person also has a story to tell. Today I'm going to be showing you some easy steps on how to make your own zine. So basic materials needed for a zine are some paper, some sort of writing instrument or printer, a long arm stapler, scissors, if you want to have some glue around or some tape, anything that you think that would allow you to express yourself more freely. Today I have all the images pre-photoshopped and laid out already and printed. In, in this case, the, uh, the artwork's already done by Alex Chu. What you're gonna do is you're gonna collate the papers based on the uh, order that you wish, and then uh, we're gonna fold the zine in half. We're gonna line up the edges and make sure um, the zine looks really, really crisp. And then when we staple, we unfold the zine and staple in the middle. We're gonna crease the binding, and then you're done. Zine making is speaking out and getting your voice heard. Whatever your age and whatever your skill level in terms of art or writing or photography, it doesn't really matter. The zine world is open to whoever wants to express themselves.